How are you, John? Good, mate. Good to see you. Looking very smart. <laughs> what time are we at church? <laughs> no need for that. That's a, good, that's a good effort. I like to see it's good that you're dressed up smart for me. casual, aren't I? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, we're going to talk about boots in a minute. This is the boot room. We're here in Shoreditch at uh, a shop that sells swimwear. Why? I invested um, last year, actually. I, I brought a pair of shorts online. Um, <laughs> is that your investment? <laughs> <laughs> I brought yeah. a pair of shorts online and, and then I kind of looked into it a little bit further. I was happy with how they got delivered, etc. I really liked the, the fit and the quality yeah. and found out that Sam Saunders from Brentford and Liam Ridgewell, who's at Portland Timbers, kind of started the company. So I got in touch with the guys and kind of we, we had a few sit downs and we are where we are today. What were the first pair of boots that you wanted as a kid? The first ones I wanted was the, the Copas. Everyone wanted the Copas, didn't yeah. they? But the tongues never stayed down, did no, they? they didn't. So you had to have the pegs on, hot water overnight. Never do that, no. No. Get the, get the pegs from the clothesline from your mum, put them on the boots, let them. So over the morning you take them off and the tongues stay down. So wait, what, what, where do you put the pegs on? On the tongues put and the you... pegs, two, two yeah. pegs on each tongue. Like that. Yeah. That's it. Fold it over. Yeah. And then it will set. So a bit of hot water, so they set, and the crease sets so the so they stay down rather than flapping about when you're playing. Top tip for you there. That's quality. Yeah. That's brilliant. Mum and Dad saved up for, <laughs> for a long while, yeah. They're not cheap, are they? No, they were expensive. Even yeah. back then, they was, yeah. Give us a, a reminder of who else was in the, the team when you were at Senrab. It was myself, Ledley King, Bobby Zamora, Paul Koncheski, J. Lloyd Samuel. Um, that, that was our team. All right. And who had the best boots? Leathers. Leathers had a pair of Nikes. Night tempos, just the night tempos, yeah, but every week gleaming, cleaned them, yeah. looked after his boots, yeah. Did you look after your boots? Always. My dad always made me, yeah. That was part of it now. The kids come off, well, my kids come home, go like that and go, hey, Dad, back in the day, yeah. your dad made you do it and kind of dubbing out and polish them and stuff like that. A bit of pride in your work. Yeah, it served me well when I become a YT as well. Absolutely. When you were a YT, whose boots did you clean? I had three, YZ, Eddie Newton and David Lee. Best tipper? All of them. All the same. Oh, were they all good, yeah, yeah? I think they had a little meeting, didn't want to outdo each other. <laughs> <Yeah>. so, <laughs> 100 quid, it was doubled my wage back then. What was Wisey wearing? Was Wisey wearing high techs? Wisey had the blue high techs. <sighs> Eddie? Eddie had Adidas, Dave Lee was Adidas as well. Right, okay. So he got the occasional free kind of tracksuit and, and stuff like that. And Wisey had, um, every time he scored, he'd give me 25 quid. Unbelievable. It was like I won the lottery amongst the YTs. Brilliant. It's all right, lads, tonight's on me. <laughs> Does that still happen at Chelsea? Do the players have to clean boots? No. You think got... that's wrong? Yeah, I think so. And I think as well, just, just that interaction as well. So you'd have the responsibility, firstly, of cleaning the players' boots, making sure you put them in the skip ready for the players' game. Now it's just all on the kit men, but the academy boys and the reserve boys are over in the other building. The separation's too much for me. And I would, I would, if I was the FA or PFA, I would go back to doing boots and a little bit of duties. That would, be the, that would be the main one for me. Get them in the stands, sweeping the stands, yeah, exactly. mate. That's what we need. To, yeah. <laughs> Get it back to what it was. So what are you wearing these days? I'm wearing them um, Magista, the Nikes. OK. What colour? They're white at the moment. All right. Um, studs or moulds? Moulds training, studs, always. Why do you train in moulds and you're playing studs? You definitely feel the difference on your feet when you're, when you're playing studs. So after a game, your feet will be a little bit sore if the ground's a little bit hard. And I like that difference as well. So when I go to a game, it's like I wear, you know, I'm, I know I'm in moulds for training. As soon as I go to a game of studs are there, I know it's game time. And it's just that little bit in my mind where it's only a small thing, but yeah. just that little superstition, really. I heard a rumour, John, that you go through three pairs of boots, not a season, but per match. Is this true? Yeah. Three pairs a yeah, game? I know. I wear a pair to warm up in, Yeah. a pair for the first half and a pair for the second half. After oh. that, they're kind of gone and never wear them again. How long have you been doing that? Three years. Three years? <laughs> yeah, right. Nike, Nike ain't happy. <laughs> I bet they're not. I bet they're not. <laughs> what happens to them afterwards? I give an awful lot of boots yeah. to, to make a wish for their foundation so they can sell them and auction them off. And, you know, we've we got a lot of fans as well, so at the end of the season, during this end, uh, season, I'll, I'll give them to fans and supporters and mascots. You know, just a little something kind of uh, memorable to take home from the game. Could I buy your boots in the shop? No, no. What's different? Basically, the difference is on, on, the, on the base of the boot, it's a six stud. I think the ones in the shop are an eight or a ten stud. Right. But tend to be professional footballers are, are a six stud base. OK. And what size are you? Just a flat ten. Flat ten? Yeah. But as well, just when they get a little bit stretchy and that little bit big, I just find you lose that little bit of touch and feel, and that's why I like to wear new ones. And 
That's why you need three yeah. pairs of game, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's madness, Joe. You know it's madness, don't I know, you? I know. Yeah. Um, do you personalise your boots in any way? Just have the kids' names yeah. on. My daughter, she's left footed, so I have my daughter's name on the left. Oh, brilliant. My boy's right footed, so his name goes on the right. Any other superstitions related to your boots? No, not particularly my boots. I have to have new shorts every game, new socks every game. Uh, well, that's standard, isn't it? Not really, not for, no? not for most of the lads, no. I have a, I have a bit of tape round round my socks, which have to be perfect, so no creases kind of go round twice as right. well. And if there's a little crease or something, I have to, you know, the ref's playing the whistle and I'm there doing my tape and everyone's kind of telling me to get a move on, but that, that's my main ones, really. So when are you going to hang your boots up, John? I'm not saying, you know, you, you know, you look like you need to or anything like that. You, you don't. I think you, there's, there's a lot of life left in you yet, but... Uh, Thanks, mate. What are your plans? I've got a couple of years left. Um, definitely intend to keep playing. It's hopefully that's at Chelsea. If not, it will be it will be somewhere else, but definitely feeling good physically and intend to play as long as your time, you know. As a professional footballer, you're long time retired, so I think for not only myself, for, but for all of us to kind of get the most out of it and, and enjoy it whilst it's there. Top man. Good to see you, mate. Cheers, all the best. Top man, mate. Thank you.